Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the TX500 VTX from SpeedyB. In this video I'm going to go over its features, measure its output strength and then mount it on my Flexa C Ascent X and head the doors and test it out. Inside the box we get in the SpeedyB TX500 VTX, the user manual and a bag that contains M2 spacers and screws, an MCX2 SMA antenna adapter and also a linear antenna with a 90 degree MMCX connector. The Speedy BTX 500 VTX is designed for 20 by 20 stacks. It supports 48 channels and has a selectable output rank of 25, 200 and 500 milliwatts. In addition, it also supports smart audio on IRC tram protocol. It features an AM6 antenna connector and also has an onboard microphone. You can choose whether to use this six pins connector or you can directly solder all the connectors to the pads on the bottom. The top pad is the plus five volts out. Then we've got the ground, video in, the smart audio pad, the ground for the power input, and then the power pad, the operating voltage is pretty low and is between 3.3 .3 to 5.5 volts. The TX500 VTX is pretty light. It weighs about 3.5 grams, so it's about 1 gram lighter than the AKK FX3, which has similar specifications. As I mentioned before, the distance between the mounting holes is the standard 20 millimeters, and the outer dimensions are about 28.3 by 27.9 by 4 millimeters. So now I've got the VTX powered up. First of all, when you get in this VTX, it is locked to 25 milliwatt. So in order to unlock it, you're going to need to press the VTX button for 10 seconds in order to unlock it. So let's do it. And now the VTX was unlocked. Selecting the channel is done by short pressing this button. When the blue LED indicator flashes, it means that the channel has been changed. When the blue LED indicator is constantly on, it means that you are on channel one. And then you will have to count the number of times that you press this button in order to set the correct channel. Of course, the best way is to use smart audio. Selecting the pen is done by pressing this button for about two seconds. And then the pen is going to be indicated by the six red LED indicators. The left one is number one, then it goes all the way to number six. And finally, setting the output strength is done by long pressing this button for about 5 seconds and it's going to be indicated by the LED indicator over here. So yeah, now you can see it flashes slowly, which means that it is set to 200 milliwatts. And if it's going to be constantly on, it means that it's going to be set to 500 milliwatt. When this LED indicator is off, it means that the VTX is set to 25 milliwatt. Now let's measure the output strength. When it's set to 25 milliwatt, I'm getting about 33 milliwatts. When it's set to 200 milliwatts, I'm getting about 350 milliwatts. And finally, when it's set to 500 milliwatts, I'm getting about 640 milliwatts, which is pretty impressive. After about a minute, the VTX got to the temperature of 49.2 degrees Celsius, which are 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm still getting pretty good output strength, and now it's about 550 milliwatts. So overall, the SpeedyB TX500 VTX looks pretty promising, and the next thing I'm going to do is to mount it on my FlexFC Ascent X and head the doors and test it out. I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.